Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss the combination of birth number four with life path number one. So birth number four is represented by Rahu or Uranus in the eastern side, but we're discussing the Chaldean. So it's represented by Rahu, which is considered a demon head. Um, this was there was two demons, Rahu and Kietu. Rahu was the demon head, and all the severity of his head was chopped off by the other gods. But they ended up eating something that's similar to the Adam and Eve story, a fruit, and they ended up getting the power of the gods by becoming immortal. So Rahu is known as the north node of the moon, and then Ketu, which is representation number seven, is the south node of the moon. These are what causes the eclipses. Rahu caused the sun eclipse, and Ketu causes the lunar eclipse. So with that being said, um, these two have a very important role because they don't actually have a, a foundational planetary entity that they deal with. They literally are just a, an ideology, a concept, a, a sense of darkness. So the number four is like a dark version of the number one. They're very practical, very pragmatic. They're able to get a lot of things done. Um, but as a result, um, they do end up getting leadership roles, but they tend not to take them. The reason behind this is because they want to more so be considered uh, the detailed people, the people that want to make HR, the people that want to manage different accounts, the people that want to um, do data analysis. They, they're more so in the background in comparison to being in the front like the number one would be. What's funny is that they actually have more skills than a lot of the number one people have. And the number one just has more sense of charisma and confidence. So the combination of now number four and one is interesting because the number four, like I said, is an eclipse sort of energy. When it goes to number one, it causes a very radiant, charismatic person that's able to get a lot done in life. Um, they're able to really overpower um, any sort of government entity, business setting. These people are usually business tycoons or they're high up in the government simply because they're able to understand how these things work. They look at them like a, a construct and they, they sort of just like meticulously take it apart until they get what they want out of life. And that's what makes these guys so special. Um, when it comes to like luck, they naturally have good luck. If you guys want to have um, a name number that makes it even better for you, make it one or five. Um, any name number that constructs a one or five is going to work very, very well. You'll be good to go. And then in regards to gems, you're looking at light blue sapphire, not the regular sapphire that I usually wear, but the light blue one. And you also want to look at um, diamond or zircon. Those can work very well for you guys as well. When it comes to lucky colors, just avoid black and red. Any bright colors, yellow, blue, whole nine yards, green, they all work for you guys very well. And you'll have a lot of success. When it comes to bad luck days, days to look out for, just look at 8, 17, 26. Those days may not be the best. They may cause uh, certain just drawbacks with what you're trying to do. So don't start any business on those days and you'll be absolutely fine. When it comes to remedying this birth number combination, there's not much to say just simply because it's already quite lucky. You have the foundational skills of number four. Like I said, you're the number four if you're born the fourth, the 13th, the 22nd, or 31st. And then if, you, if your full birthday adds to one, then of course you're a life path one. You guys are quite lucky as is, and you guys are able to go to the top of any hierarchy you enter. So it's just up to you to really have that self-belief, not really downgrade yourself because you guys are your own worst enemy. So make sure you have that belief as a life path to understand that you're meant to be number one, you're meant to be at the top of that mountain, and really just taking advantage of the skills that you have. All right, so that should conclude the video, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, just please leave in the comments for me. Aside from that, like, subscribe, follow me to today, guys. Peace.